Sound familiar? You promised yourself you would do something as soon as you got home, but somehow it's hours later and that task you said you were going to do still looms over you. Yeah, I get it. I've been in this spot way too many times to count. Procrastination has been a huge struggle of mine over the last two years where I constantly just felt like I didn't have enough time that time would just slip through my fingers. I'd have this outline of everything I wanted to do, yet I somehow got through almost nothing. If you can relate to this, you know just how frustrating this feeling is of knowing exactly what you need to be doing, but you just cannot seem to bring yourself to do it. You'll do anything but the task you said you were going to do. I'd honestly sometimes find myself cleaning up my entire room just to avoid the one task that I was trying to do. So in today's video, I'm gonna try help you solve this problem. I've made a lot of progress in my own life. I'm by no means perfect and never procrastinate, but I've seen huge change with these two things that I'm gonna outline in this video. So first up, time tracking. So over the past month or so, I've begun tracking every single minute of my day. There is no time that is unaccounted for. The reason I started doing this is because I falsely believed that I was doing way more work than I actually was. I had a feeling that a lot of my time was actually being wasted, but I felt like I was doing heaps of work. So I thought I'd get to the bottom of this and track every single minute of the day. Just quickly, I recently created an entire course on focus and accessing a flow state, which I was originally going to sell. However, I've since decided that I'm just gonna give it away for free. If you'd like to check out that free course, it'll be the top link in the description. So why time tracking works so well. So I think one of the biggest reasons this works so well at reducing procrastination is the fact that when you are going to procrastinate, you have to manually track it. You do this by using a specific app that I'll mention in a minute, but pretty much it's much harder to procrastinate when you've got to actively begin a timer, very well knowing that you're just doing it to avoid the work. Another thing that I've noticed by tracking every single minute of my day is that you actually begin getting way more done in a smaller amount of time. Because when you begin a timer and then start doing work, you know that you're under a kind of time pressure. You know you're being tracked. So naturally, there's just less kind of fluffing around. You're more dialed in and get straight to the work. So I've noticed that even in a smaller amount of time, as long as I'm tracking the time, I'm actually getting way more done per hour. All right, so how to do time tracking for yourself. So I've been using an app called Timelines. There's a free and a paid version, which I've actually got the paid version of just because I thought it was a worthwhile investment, but I'll give you a quick walkthrough of how I use the app. All right, so here on my phone, if I just bring up timelines, this is what the app looks like. So for me personally, I'm tracking six different activities. So I've got personal, learning, exercise, deep work, sleep, and freelancing. So pretty much at any given point of the day, one of these will be going. I'm pretty sure with the free version, you're only able to use three, which I personally just wanted to have a few more options. Just again, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with this app in any way, but I just thought it was pretty good. You can also set up different goals. So for a certain activity like deep work, you can have a certain goal that you try hit each day. Uh, so you can also see different graphs of the split between different things that you've been doing. You can jump between a pie graph, bar chart you can zoom in and see specific days or look at it from like a week's perspective there's also a running event log of every single session and the cool thing is if you've messed up any of the timing so say for this one i actually started it five minutes earlier for example i can just go back adjust that adjust previous event and it just fixes it up so it's very easy to use and yeah so you can just jump between different events very easily and this just pretty much allows you to see exactly how you're spending your time on a day-to-day -day basis. Hey, just one more thing that I forgot to mention. If you've got an iPhone that has the dynamic island up the top, it'll actually show the timer at all times. So you can constantly see the amount of time that you've spent on any given activity. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is eating the frog. Now I understand that a lot of you have probably heard of this concept. 
However, I just am reminded over and over and over in my own life just how important this one concept is. And I often need to be reminded because it's so easy to fall back into old habits. So for any of you that are unfamiliar with this concept of eating the frog, it's pulled from a famous book called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. And pretty much the question to ask yourself is, if you were forced to eat a frog at dinner time, would you wanna eat the frog before or after your dinner? Just really think about that question. If you had to eat a frog with your dinner tonight, would you rather eat the frog before your dinner or after your dinner? If you really think about it, you'd probably say before, because if you wait till afterwards, you'll be eating your dinner the whole time, knowing that you've got to do that really difficult task and it's just going to be playing on your mind. On top of that, it means you'll be left with a disgusting taste in your mouth, as opposed to if you just get it straight out of the way, just eat it, and then you can enjoy your meal afterwards and you don't have the taste of frog in your mouth after you eat. So this is basically just reflecting the concept of doing your hardest task, your most important work, first thing in the morning. You don't leave it till later in the day. So pretty much there's just three steps that we wanna take when thinking about this concept of eating the frog. First things first is identify the frog. What is your most important, most high leverage task, but also the task that you're probably procrastinating the most on. The task that you really just wanna avoid, that project that you don't wanna start, you don't wanna work on, even though you know it'll have the biggest effect on your life and move the needle the most. You want to try to identify what that task is for you in your own life. Step two is to eat it. Do that task first thing in the morning. Do not procrastinate, do not wait. Get it out of the way first things first. You'll feel so much better for the rest of the day. And if you leave it till later in the day, you're gonna be reminiscing on that task or project that you need to do for the entire day. You're so much better off getting it done, getting it out of the way straight away. And step three, repeat this every single day. This will truly create ripples in your life. It will drastically change the amount of work you can get done each day, each week, each month, each year. You will be so much more productive if you don't dawdle on that big task or project that you so often procrastinate. I know for me personally, it's so easy to get lost and to sink your teeth into all the easy tasks, things you have no issue starting, but you know deep down in the back of your head that there's that one big project, that big task, that you're doing everything but that, and you know it's that thing that's gonna have all the impact. It's gonna bring in all the results. So if you can really onboard these two things of tracking every minute of your day and forcing yourself to do that hard thing first thing in the morning, your productivity will literally double, triple, quadruple overnight. And that's not an exaggeration. I've found this personally in my own life. When I don't track my time and when I push off that main big priority task for later in the day, which often ends up not being done, I literally get nothing of substance done in the day. I felt busy the entire day, but nothing has really moved the needle. So trust me, really internalize these two things and try your best to do them every single day. So thanks for watching. I hope you've got some value out of this video. If you'd like to see seven other apps on my phone that I'm currently using every single day to be more productive, check out this video right here.